Hi guys, Nick Anderson here giving a video review on the Eskimo Wide One Inferno One Man Flip Shack. The Wide One Inferno is a uh, 62 pound one man expandable fish shack. And what that means is most fish shacks have approximately 11 square feet of fishable space. The Wide One Inferno expands to allow you the extra square footage, giving you approximately 15 square foot of space to fish. Uh, let me give you a quick jump demonstration. Uh, right now we have, I am sitting in this seat. It's a swivel seat made up of a mesh material. It seems to be very comfortable. Guys I have known, I haven't had it on the ice yet, guys that I've known that have this. Uh, they, they talk about how comfortable it is. A lot of guys and a lot of you might want to switch out your seats. Um, uh, I, me, this is my first shack. I don't foresee myself having to do that with this seat that uh, we have here. Plus, uh, I'm usually catching fish, not just sitting there. Now, videos I've seen in the past, uh, it, well, it, they show it expanded already. They show it. Uh, they show it set up. Yeah, uh, folks, I, I have not seen a video yet out there that just shows it in the down position. That's what it looks like in the down position. We still need to get a cover for this to kind of bring some of this, some of these flaps up, and 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 that'll kind of hold everything in there and just leave the just leave the tub exposed. So when you're you got it behind the ATV or if you're pulling it behind you, you can. Uh, you can uh, you can keep that stuff off of the ice, and obviously the cover keeps the uh, ice and snow from going inside. We had a chance to see the Eskimo in the down position. We'll go ahead and we'll bring it up to its uh, to its uh, wind block position, and I'll show you some of the uh, features here. To expand the position, to expand your fishable area, you press down on this red button right here. Bring it all the way out. It clicks right into it clicks right into place. And you have your locking mechanisms here that will hold that in your wind block position. So if you still care to talk to your buddy over here or John and Jane over here, you still can. Uh, to go ahead and bring it all the way down. Pop your locks out and we'll flip it on down. We have a door that we can exit in and out of if you don't want to use the flip option. And here's your flaps to keep the snow and wind from coming through. And hold the door open with Velcro. And here I have 15 square feet of fishable space as opposed to the 11. Let me give you an idea how wide that is. Okay, so at home, if you have a tape measure, you can go ahead and go to your drawer and grab your tape measure. But what I'll do is, instead of telling you a square foot wise, because that confuses me too when we're talking uh, talking about an area. It's not something I use every day. We'll, we'll just measure from the inside of the bar to the inside bar here. A little bit better than four feet wide. And from the edge of my sled to up front here, we are, oh goodness, another four feet. So almost a four by four foot area that we can fish in, guys. Got rid of my tape measure there. Um, it's an insulated material. I'll tell you, when I set this up in my house, well, I'll tell you, when it comes to your door, if you order this online, and, uh, and, and UPS is dropping it off, or FedEx, or, or whatever carrier or deliver, delivery option you use, it's a big heavy box. It's a, a, approximately a 70 pound box. Uh, there's quite a few parts to it. It took me two hours to assemble. Uh, they tell you anywhere between, uh, between one and three hours, I believe, in the directions. Uh, in this case, my nine year old son actually kind of had to help me with the uh, instructions because dad was getting a little bit confused and I was cursing the world. Uh, just be prepared for that. Uh, as, a, as consumers, we're used to buying something off the shelf, taking it home, and being able to use it right away. Uh, this one does require a little bit of assembly, again, if you purchase online, um, but uh, totally worth it. And you know that it's assembled correctly because you've gone through everything twice, and if it's not correct, though, then you got no one to blame but yourself.
Let me bring you inside and show you a little bit here. Alright, here we are inside the uh, shack here. It's pretty dark. Um, the reason for that is, actually let me close this and show you how dark it can be inside here. Excuse me while my camera work is interrupted. Not that my camera work is any good to begin with. Alright, so here we are. I'm looking left. I'm looking right. Oh, there's a little flap is open. Looking right. Pretty dark in here. It's nice when you are fishing during the daylight and you can, uh, there we go, we got a window open. You're fishing during the daylight and you can kind of uh, look right down in that hole and it's all illuminated for you. And the fish don't seem as skittish. All right, there's the front window. Here's the side window. Oh, that was my left side window, I'm sorry. And there's the back window. Ah, oh, there's a back window. Now these windows have plastic to separate you from the outside world so you can still maintain your heat. And we have a lot more, well you can see my knees. You can't really see much of the ground here. Let me open this back up so you can, we'll have more light in here. Uh, the uh, windows there do pop completely out. They're on a uh, Velcro type system. You kind of see how I got that there. So if you do want some airflow, or I'm not sure why you'd want to take them out, but they built the feature there for some reason. All right, let's just look inside. All right, you do have pockets on either side to keep your your uh, extra your wax worms or extra uh, extra spool lines. You have your netting underneath here. This is a net mesh material that holds your gloves and hat off the ground there. And um, there you got people walking by during my video review. Hello. <laughs> uh, I like the Eskimo. That's a, that looks very comfortable and cozy. You heard it first. It was not scripted. You might have a visitor. <laughs> Alright. So here we have the Eskimo Wide One Inferno, guys. It seems like a great shack. I can't wait to get a chance to take it out and give it a test ride. So, any questions, leave a comment, or, uh, or uh, uh, go to Eskimo, and uh, it, it, Eskimo's online representatives, they do respond back to you. I've asked them a few questions myself regarding their augers. They make a really nice product, and, um, and thank you very much for checking it out.